Hello, everybody. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and the Black channel at Ticker Talker. And today, uh, and I have to move my keyboards a little bit here today, uh, a little bit of history about myself. Uh, I've been full time in this industry since 1989. And when I started, uh, I started on the Chicago Stock Exchange and um, I started to uh, watch charts, and there was not very many at that point. Um, and uh, so I started to watch the charts and I was like, well, I really got to figure this out. And so what I did was I bought every book I could find on technical analysis and I read them and I summarized them and none of it really made any sense to me. And so what I would do is for 20 years and I was a specialist down there. So I was a trading order flow as a specialist, a listed specialist, OTC specialist. And so, but I would look at the charts and try and figure it out. And so each night, I would rifle through about 2,500 charts. And what I would do is I wouldn't try and totally figure out what was going on. I figured if I could just immerse myself and just keep looking and keep looking and keep looking and keep looking, that eventually I would figure out what's going on. And there'd be some universal universality to it as opposed to subjectivity, right? And so what I mean by that is most people will try and read a chart as opposed to analyze data. And they'll say, okay, well, I've got this chart pattern, blah, blah, blah. And if it were that simple, you just buy a book on chart patterns and read it, right? And be like, okay, well, there's my flag and there's my thing and it's easy and off you go. And we know that's not true. We know that that's, that's not that easy, right? Most people lose trading. And oftentimes they'll blame themselves and you don't want to do that. It's usually not your fault. It's usually you've been trying to use things that don't work. Right, or you're listening to other people as opposed to yourself. So, what I'm going to show you today, if you're brand new to this, we call it the strat, short for the strategy that I developed. And what it is, is an efficient way to analyze data. And what we're doing is we are, are, are recognizing participation groups by price and time. What you're going to love about this is, is this brand new to you. It's going to be very simple to understand, right? And it's so simple to understand that. Uh, people who learn this then train their children, right? So we've got kids and everybody jumping on board here. Uh, the transition to this type of trading is taking hold right now. Uh, major software companies like TrendSpider put my signals in there. Um, you'll, see, you'll start to see it everywhere. If you go to Twitter and you use the hashtag the strat, you'll see it everywhere. So let's get to it. Like I said, very simple. And I'll slow it down for you, all right? So if you can see this chart here, from one bar to the next, right? Whatever it might be, from one bar here, any chart you look at, there's only three things that can possibly happen, okay? One thing that can happen is this. You're not strong enough to take out the, the previous high and you're not strong, weak enough to take out the previous low. It's called an inside bar, right? And since there's only three things that can happen, we call them scenarios. This is a scenario one, right? Not strong enough to take that out, not weak enough to take that out. The next scenario is you either take out one side, you take out one side of the previous bar, be it a high or a low, all right? So you'll notice here, this bar took out the high of this bar. That's a two, scenario two, all right? In this case, same deal. This bar, this red bar took out the low of this bar. That's a two. So this would be a two up, this is a two down. The third scenario is this, the outside bar. You took out both sides of the previous range, the highs and the lows. The fact that this bar exists, this type of bar exists, is one of the most important things you can know, right? If you fail one side of a range and start coming back through, you're going to take out the other side, right? A scenario three, that happens, and it happens a lot, right? And that's where people who don't understand that get killed. It's also with people who don't understand that don't know how to gauge magnitude of how far something's gonna go. And I'll show that to you as we go along here. So another thing that we wanna know is, are the who's getting their price? The buyers or the sellers, right? Are, which is to say, are we trading on the offer? Or are we trading on the bid, all right? We call this time frame continuity, okay? So and here, you'll notice the month is green, right? It is. That means the buyers are stepping up and taking the offer, all right? No, no doubt about it. 
So what we want to use multiple time frame analysis. And we're going to go into some macro charts here in a second. But for the most part, we use monthly, weekly, and dailies in 60 minutes. Right? But for the macros, we use year yearly and quarterlies, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So what that means is when you go to the weekly and it's green and the monthly is green and the daily is green and the 60 minute is green that tells me four participation groups by price and time are, are, are more aggressive on the off on the bid i mean on the offer they're taking the offer that's what they're doing right no 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 doubt about it can you expect the price to go higher when during that condition you bet you can right it also helps us because now we can pick up on algorithmic activity so Oftentimes, uh, that gets a bad rap of algorithms coming to pick you off. That's not that's not true. High frequency traders will pick you off, and you won't even notice it. You know, for millipennies, but basic algorithmic automated trading, they have to tell the program what to do, right? You got to tell the program four things. What do you want it to do? It in spy Apple, what have you? What do you want it to do? Buy or sell? how do you want it to buy or sell by taking the offer or hit or staying on the bid or a selling by hitting the bid or staying on the offer right and when do you want it to do it so during this condition we know exactly what they told them they told them spy they told them buy they said take the offer and do it now there's no two ways about it they had to have told them that right so we can pick up on that that's a good thing to know because the other thing that's good to know about is that one of the falsehoods in our industry is that price moves, right? And that's why people will try to apply moving averages and oscillators. Price doesn't move, it aggregates. What that means is for every buyer, you gotta have a seller, and for every seller, you gotta have a buyer, right? That's true. So when this condition is like I just showed you, right? The buyers are more aggressive, they're taking the offer, they're not waiting around for to try and get a price, right? That's an important thing to know. So if we go back to the monthly, There's also only so many ways that price can continue and price can reverse, no matter what t people tell you about what a reversal looks like. And most people, when you say reversal, think of a major reversal. It happens all the time. So if you ever said, I'm going to buy it on a pullback, right? That's vague, right? You want to trade a reversal. You don't buy a dip. You trade a reversal. All right. So there's a few others that I'm going to show you. But if you know the basics, you're going to know what reversals look like. Okay. For one, it's a two in one direction here. This is a down. This is an inside bar. And that's a two in the other direction. Two, one, two. All right? And that can be up or down, but uh, these are opposite. Two, two down, inside, two up. Right? Another way the price can reverse is a two in one direction, taking out the high. And a two in the other. This happens all the time. The two two the two two reversal. This happens all the time, and we're constantly looking for this, right? And once you know to look for this, you're gonna see it everywhere. Okay. See like a CP rail today here daily. You see this here. This took out the previous high. Yes, right yesterday. And then today you come in, boom, two two reversal. Thanks for playing. 385 down to 376, not bad. Another type of the way price reverses. Outside bar itself. It's rejecting, taking out the high. That's a reversal, right? It also changes continuity to the downside, which makes it a continuation with continuity on a monthly chart, okay? You can also continue as a two, two is a three, two, outside bar, boom, three, two down, right? Or it can be two up, just taking out the high, two, two, that's how price continues, right? Now, since we know that, we know what to look for, right? And had you known what I just showed you, right? Here's another way that continues, inside bar, two, one, two, right, to the downside. Now, had you known this years back, right? You would have known this. This is a 2-2 reversal. The market got slammed. 
This is an inside bar, right? Consolidation. This is the continuation. Market gets slammed. This is the reversal back up. It also did it here, right? It did. So from a macro basis, it's also a matter of when things occur, okay? So you're going to notice here, if you had a 200-day moving average up, which I never will, you're going to notice this was way below it. However, you got a new month, all right? Also, if you look up, if you can see up here, it's a little small, but I'll tell you what it is. Right here was a new year. That's January, right? That's a change in continuity. That's something I'd want to know about. Because at this point, as soon as it starts moving higher, it's green on the year, the quarter, the month, the week, the day, and the 60. Is that something I'd want to know about? It is. After everybody just got rocked to the downside here, then you can take it back up the other way. Then we had pandemic. Did we know about this? Sure did. We knew once this thing was going to change red, they were going to take this other side out because that phenomenon exists, right? That's how you can gauge magnitude, how far something's going to go. Then all of these became an outside bar of all of this, and even some more, right? Broadening formation. So a broadening formation is how price discovery works, right? And an outside bar is a broadening formation by definition, because a broadening formation will take out both sides of each of the previous range. By definition, it, that's what it is, right? And then you can see all of this, and then they get bigger. Right here's the expansion going into the highs, and so we also have something a little bit more rare, but I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you in a, another bigger chart. You can also have the three big outside three red, the inside bar, and then reverse this reversal here three, one, two. Right, that was a quarterly in the spy. We know about that, we did because a lot of things did that, and the reason that works, right, is because they're willing to pay up and sell down your outside bar. Right, that means they're aggressive. Right, that means the, the, the participants are both really aggressive. So then, when you meet back in the middle here, the next move is usually the real move you're going to take out that, or you're going to take out that, whichever side of this one you take out of. Right, you'll see this all the time now that you know to look for this stuff. You'll see it all the time. So if we go to, um, let's go back to those big, my big boy charts, okay? Because what you're gonna see here, let's say that you are managing money. Let's say you're not an active trader or whatever, you just wanna manage money and know what's going on, all right? And you go to your yearly chart here. Right now, you'll notice a few things when I go through this what reversals and continuations look like, and what continuity looks like. So, let's, stay, let's say you started your fund here in 1995. Is this a two up taking that high out? You bet it is. Is it still a two up? Yep, still good. Two up taking out previous high? Yep, two up. Still two in its way up here. Now you're into 99, right? Now you go up and you can see how this changes continuity. If you're going to be an outside bar, that's what it's going to look like. You would know to protect yourself with puts, get out, shorts and stuff when it does this. But it's still a close as a two up, right? It was just challenged because of the continuity. But you would have known about that. And then when you come into the new year, 2001, you would know you're closer to being a two down. You'd be well aware of that, right? And you'd know for sure you need to protect yourself, if not get short. So this goes two down year, right? It goes two down a year again, 2002, right? Dead, right? So you would have known about all of this stuff. Then what happened? You got a new year and it started to move higher, right? You were still inside a one. Right. So but your continuity changed for the new year. You would have known to take off your take off your protection. You're good. So long as that stays great. Then what happened? This closes an inside one. Just like I showed you on the spy monthly charts. Two, one, two reversal you're in. Two. Two. 
two. Whoa, financial crisis is coming. I didn't see that one coming. You would have if you knew this. 07 coming into 08. That's a 2 2 reversal. Two up, two down, right? Then two down by taking this out, right? But then a change in continuity. You would have known you'd been good again there, right? Another thing that's interesting to note is there's not always going to be an outside bar three that's going to be presented to you. Software is going to present stuff to you the way it wants to. And what I mean by that is you could have a yearly chart that updated in August and it would look completely different, right? But it would still be a yearly chart. So we know that this format, this phenomenon happens, that you take out both sides of previous range. So you'll notice how this took out that and then came back through previous range down here to take out all these guys. There is your broadening formation. And this would be an outside bar if it was a three-year pattern, right? It would, definitely. So that's, that's what you want to know about. That's how you can gauge magnitude. You also want to be coming back through previous ranges, right? Now, you might have strong trends into the upside, but when you come back through previous ranges, oftentimes it's more violent of a move. And I'll tell you why. Because you have that automated trading trying to hit bids, right? We know that's true. But when you come back to a previous range, we also know how people have been taught to place stops. I'm going to put it on the low of the pivot. I'm going to put it on the low of the pivot. I'm going to put it where I got in. I'm going to put it on the low of the pivot and where I got in. And so as these guys get stopped out, it removes liquidity. So there's not as much stock to hit, right? It sucks it out, right? So that's why you want to come back through previous range. So once again, now we're here in 2009 and now you have your 2-2 reversal up. This was a two down, but you've already knew about that because of this. So when you come into here, what's the next two? Most likely going to take out the highs because you're closer to that. And it did. This went two up, although it had some redness in here to where you would have been protecting. Next year, two, two, two. Now this was a two, but you had to protect yourself in there. And then this was a three. So it touched, poked down. But then once it changed continuity here, off to the races again, three, two. Another two where you had to protect yourself and then blast off here. You can see this real nice. And then last year, pandemics, right? Outs big outside year. But below here, we knew it was red on the year and coming back through at that point. So we knew to, we knew that the downside was coming because we also had that monthly chart, right? Dead. And so when that happens, then you go down here. And the thing is, well, Rob, it came all the way back up. Yep. Broadening formation. Once a three, always a three can't not be. And what that means is that if they're willing to pay up and sell down, they might do it again. That happens, that happens a lot, right? Happened last year, right? If we go back and you'll see this. Here you go. They paid up. Here was January. Here was January. Oh, boom, <laughs> right? They paid up, they paid over the highs, they got killed, and they came all the way back, right? So what, you want to know about that. <laughs> you want to know what outside bars are and, and what, what they can do because we already know what winning and losing trades look like, all right? Winning trades look like a two in your favor, a three in your favor, or continuity in your favor. Losing trades look like getting chopped up in a tight range one, fighting a two, getting killed by a three and fighting continuity. That's if you, I have a checklist. If you just keep that on your screen and you go, th you go through multiple time frame analysis and you look at that, I guarantee you, you're gonna see what I just told you, all right? So if we go back to the macro charts, all right? So I make a macro video once a month with the quarterly and weekly, quarterly and yearly signals, all right? So if we go back to pandemics and you go to the airlines, United, what did we know to be true? Inside bar on the year, two, one, two, bam. Did we know about that? We did. If you go to the quarterly, you also would have seen this. Inside quarter, another inside quarter. Boom, you're, you're back in going long. 
inside quarter for the downside and the year triggered. So this would have give you on a macro basis below 8087. And then you could buy it back at 3986 and be back to 60. You make more than they actually move when you know this stuff because you know how to trade the upside and the downside. Let's take a look at something that's pretty hot these days to talk about. GameStop. All the Redditors, everybody wants to know what's going on in the GameStop, right? Okay. Let's take a look at the continuity itself right now. You see this month? That's good. <laughs> That's good. Did we know about that? We did. Did you see what happened here as soon as there was a new month in February? Boom. Tank. Did we know about that? Sure did. Now, if you go to a weekly basis, with the weekly basis, and we'll take this out a little bit more. A weekly basis. So here <clears throat> was a 2 2 reversal week here. And that was over 1945, right? That was the first week of January. Two, 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 right? <laughs> All right. Then you get your new month, right? Back down. Now it's still a one this whole way down. Having how much continuity you have is important. So you would know to get short in here, right? Then what happened? Here. Two down, two down. Whoa, two up, 5350. Boom. That next week it rocketed to 184.68. Then what happened? Inside bar. Is that what a continuation looks like? Yes. Two, one, two. And that's back up over 150, 153, spiking up to 348.50, right, in one week. Just knowing what I'm showing you, right? If you go back to, and well, here, 212, and now still trying to fade on these weeks. It's drying up a little bit. But here, this was good. Once you know you have a big outside bar, that's something I'd want to know about. Then when I get my inside here, 3-1, goes up into here. This is an inside bar. And so when you have a reversal after that, we call it a rev strat because this was an equilibrium. They tried to break it to the upside, couldn't do it. Boom, next day, we knew about that right here, below 262.27. Things get smashed, right? And then you're going to see the slight higher high and the lower low. There's your compound broadening formation. These two become an outside bar of that, okay? It's not that hard. So another thing you can do here, from a macro basis to tell you where you want to be, all right? First of all, it's important to understand the market's going to trade in the direction of time frame, time frame continuity, the most twos in one direction by, the, by, by everything in the indexes, and failed twos going three. It has to. It doesn't have a choice. I can tell you what the market's doing without looking at a chart simply by scanning, all right? And so here... Another thing you do. So, what's the market doing to start off the month, Rob? Let's take a look. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's bring it back. Now, how many twos do we have on the month to the upside? How many twos do we have on the month to the monthly to the downside? Let's take a look. Let's see volume, sort by volume, who is two down on the month? Almost nobody. <laughs> it's a who's who of nobodies. Nothing. All right. How many twos are there to the upside right now? Everybody, <laughs> pretty much everybody. And you can tell that there's a tech rally on. You got Microsoft, even AMAT selling off today, still above last month. Oracle, Marvell, you got Walmart. You can see this. So that tells me right at the shoot, market's going higher, right? And so if that's going to change, what I'm searching for during the day is how many of these is happening on a weekly and a daily basis, right? 
So that'll tell me what's going on in the market. Is the market being challenged because now there's more two days to the downside? Now there's weekly starting to break to the downside or are they reconfirming this, right? I don't have to think. It'll tell me exactly what's going on. So another thing you can do from a macro basis when you're uh, trying to use the strat, it's not just whether you have continuity, which means all the openings are, are all the last sales are higher than all those openings or lower. How much continu continuity do you have? So here on a yearly basis, I want to know who's up the most this year, right? Point wise, right? Because things that are going going higher tend to keep going higher, and they will during periods of time frame continuity, as I showed you, definitely. So you want to keep that scoreboard up and be like, "There's your GameStop of 165, right? Google, right? All these guys that tells you where you wanted to be this year. On the downside, let's take a look. A little different here because some of those names, the tech rally names and stuff sold off and are staying down so far. TTD, you're gonna see Coop, right? See some of this stuff. And so if you pull that up on the chart, you're gonna see this. TTD. How would I know to get short this? For one continuity here, on the monthly, failed two, potential three. I would have known to cover here because it's a two, two up, then here, two up, two down, right? This is a very common continuation that you look for, right? Two in one direction, two opposite, and then again, with continuity. TTD gets slammed last month. If you go to Coop, what happened? It's a two down, then a two up into the highs, two two reversal monthly, slammed. Do we know about that? We did. If you go to Okta Okta, do I show you in GameStop that we look for an inside bar and then a failure and then a reversal after it? RevStrat, two bar? Yep, I did. Here it is. Okta, here, last month. Inside bar goes to the highs. There's your higher high. That's going to be a broadening formation. And then boom, these two are going to become an outside bar of this. That was real nice. 252 got slammed down to below 200. MDB, MongoDB, did that do it too? Did. Did we know about all this? We did. Here, inside bar, pokes up, boom, on a monthly basis, MDB below 352.58. Slammed down to here. 100 points. Palo Alto. Inside, upside, boom, slammed. So understanding to look for stuff like this, that also gave you Roku on a 2-2 reversal here, right? Two up, two down, slammed. But then you know that there's a new month coming here, right? Take your profits. That's not bad. It's showing some nice beefy chunky moves here uh, that you can do. And so it's really important to have a macro understanding of what's going on in the market because oftentimes people will say, I'm just day trading. It doesn't matter what the monthlies are doing. and It doesn't matter what the weeklies are doing. The hell it doesn't. I mean, if you want to have big moves, that's what they're going to look like, right? You're going to have the most twos in the same direction. So we knew that we didn't have a high concentration of two downs last month, but the ones we did have were very similar. They're all tech, all right, with the Qs getting hit, right? So we knew to go after them because everything else wasn't doing it. But when it does, that's when the market drops hard, all right? When you have a high concentration of two months to the downside, or albeit quarterlies uh, or yearlies, uh, that's what it looks like when the market gets slammed as opposed to some people sitting there being like, well, it's coming into my support level. You're gonna get slammed if you think that there's actual stock at an old pivot when you have full time frame continuity to the downside. That's what it looks like when it's gonna get taken out, right? So oftentimes people try and draw horizontal lines, right? It's trading doesn't work like that. It works in a series of price discovery broadening formations, and we know that has to be true because outside bars exist. So what you're going to see here, the higher high, and there's your lower low.
there is your broadening formation. These two are an outside bar of this and took out both sides of the range. It's one of the most important things you can know, failing one side of the range. If any of you ever tried to be a breakout trader and didn't get out immediately when you were wrong, you know what I'm talking about. You got slammed, right? You can get totally killed. So one of the things about it too, like I said, when you watch this continuity, is that one of the things we knew that was really big last year is we knew when the market got slammed, who are we going to go to? And I'll tell you who we're going to, shop. And I'll show you why. The market got slammed. Shop had already come back, right? When the yearly here, when nothing was even close to it, and it exploded. We knew about that because it had quarterly and yearly. If you go to the quarterly, you can see this. Boom, second quarter. <clears throat> Two up. It was flu, right? Same with Tesla. Because we know when the market got hit, and these things did not change continuity to the downside and the market starts to recover, these things are going to fly. Tesla, Tesla also the 3-2 on the year that I showed you on the downside in the SPY, outside bar, rejection of that, expansion. We, we knew about that the whole time. And then you break it down. Tesla, is this an inside bar? You bet it is. <laughs> you bet it is. That's an inside month right there. That's a nice chunk or three monther here above 465.90 before rallying to nine hunch. All right, before having any significant continuity change. You also had an inside month down here, right there, above 168.66. Right? And this happened during pandemic. Think that's going to work? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, right? And you can see the kind of moves you can get once you understand this stuff. It's not that hard, right? I understand that some of the compound threes take a while, but if you can count to three and you can see red or green, you're good to go. And if you know what continuations look like and you know what reversals look like, you'll know exactly when to get in and why to get in, right? And why things work, right? So once again, when you have something like even today, like I said, shorter term in that CP rail. Why would this work? Okay. Why would this work? And I'll tell you why. Everybody who bought in here yesterday goes underwater right here. Right? It's like a porch collapse. And when it, the bigger the porch, the more people die. Right? So this is a daily basis, but you can see what we look for when we get those monthlies. Right? You see people really getting hurt. Right? So we want to always use participation groups. All right, and know what's happening. Why would this happen? All right? Why would a two one two have to work? Two inside stalls out. The buyers didn't step up. Boom, reversal. These guys are going underwater, right here, right? And that's why the bigger the participation group, the bigger the move, right? And so I can't stress enough how important it is to know this <laughs> I should, to know this so you don't have to be subjective anymore and say well i think it's a that and i think it's a this it's a one two or three period right you have continuity or you don't right and then you're constantly looking to see if something works what will that do right to the other charts so if we go to recent home depot getting close on time here home depot weekly you see this this is a 2-2 reversal, right? And most people would say, oh, it's my support level. Wrong answer. We know that ranges get taken out and then they get taken out on the other side. So you'll see this range get taken out and then a reversal back through. Did I explain to you why that would work? I did. 2-2 reversal here. And off she goes, two in her way into the space, right? And if that worked, because it took out that range, that's going to change continuity on the month. And that's going to give you an outside bar because we know that phenomenon exists. Take all these guys out in one shot. It did it, and now it's still going, still good on the months, you see? So it looks like I'm just about out of time. So I'm at tickertalker.com if you want to check it out. Rob Smith, Smith in the Black channel over there. If you want to come on Twitter, I'm at Rob in the Black. 
Uh, I post a lot of stuff. My stuff, my all my uh, videos at Tinker Tacker are free, and I've got a vast video library of all this. Um, I'm on the headset seven hours a day. If you want to join me there, um, I'm on Twitter all the time. If you go to Twitter, use follow the hashtag the strat and you'll see all the people that are doing this they're very helpful and one of the most important things about it is once you know this we can communicate very quickly as opposed to some guys who got to spend 15 minutes talking about what they think about a stock or two we can go rifling back and forth really fast right so here's all the two two reversal weeklies here's all the two two reversal monthlies you can see home depot right here two up two down is this back to a previous range it is do these become an outside bar of all that they do right then you do it again higher high boom there's your three two like it did in spy there's your two one two back up just like the spy in the monthly it's not that hard to see and then once you understand where the concentration of this stuff is you know what's going on all right dave i think that's going to do it